Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the Pepper Ranger. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing, if I can get a hold of them here, the Ahi Guyana. The Guyana, Ahi Guyana is a capsicum bacidum from the small South American country, uh, Guyana, borders Venezuela. These peppers can get uh, six to eight inches long earlier in the season. I feel like I had some that were even longer than eight inches. They were enormous. Um, should have done a pot review then uh, because since then, the, the plant has just become completely loaded with, uh, with these peppers, but they're all only about three to five inches. Um, but uh, it's been a strong producer for me. Definitely my fastest growing plant. I started those, the seeds indoors in about January. And by the time I took them out and planted them in May, I had probably already topped it seven times because it just would not stop growing. Um, and it's just done the exact same thing outdoors. It hasn't grown up, it's kind of grown out and uh, just pushes out pods left and right. I'd say there's probably over a hundred pods on there right now. Um, but yeah, let's walk out to the garden and check it out. First is the Ahi Guyana. I will not know what to do with all these if I even get half to ripen and I've already picked a ton off, but cool variety, super producing. Not sure if I'm gonna grow it next year. All right, so now that you've seen what the pepper looks like outside, let's take a look at what it looks like inside. I picked these, oh, probably three days ago. So they're going a little soft, but they still got a little crunch to them. So it's about a thin walled pepper. Placenta runs top to bottom, loaded with seeds. As you can see, some of, some of the seeds in there are dead. That's all right, still plenty to go. Let's give it a smell. I'd say very, very similar to the ahi pineapple. A little less citrusy smell. Definitely very pleasant smelling though. So yeah, let me go ahead and take these seeds out and we'll give them a, give them a try. Okay, so I went ahead and took the seeds out. Uh, they were packed full and um, I'm not a huge fan of chewing through seeds. So we'll give a taste of this pepper without the seeds and let you know how I like it. Very crunchy. Super juicy. Mm. That is a really good pepper. It's actually a lot sweeter than the ahi pineapples or the ahi lemon. I haven't done a review on those yet. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. But I, <coughs> it has some heat to it. I don't know exactly what these are rated, Scoville heat-wise. Maybe around jalapeno, a little bit higher. 
like 10k maybe but that that's a that's a really good tasting pepper don't really get the uh back of them soapiness that you kind of get with uh, the ahi pineapples sweet citrusy The heat is just perfect. You can definitely just snack on these. Man, that's really good. I'm probably gonna put these in some uh, salsa and uh, dry dry the rest, whatever I have. Um, you know, early in the season, <clears throat> when I was getting these huge peppers and they're taking forever to ripen, and I'm like, eh, I, I don't know if I'll grow this variety. I hadn't been tasting them a lot, so I'm glad I tried these again um, because I think this is going to be a variety I will definitely grow next year because that is really good. Sweet, no hints of like earthiness or floral tones, but yeah, fruity, a little bit of citrus, overall a great pepper. So yeah, I, I'd, I'd probably say maybe got to a, a two. No, no hotter than a jalapeno. I haven't had, I've been eating, haven't been eating peppers, really low, low heat peppers. So this is a little bit higher than maybe a sugar rush peach, but sweet pepper, <clears throat> really enjoyed that. So yeah, that was Yahi Gagana. I'm the Pepper Ranger. Take it easy.